Test presents Seal Test Variety Theater. Yes, it's Seal Test Variety Theater with our guest star, Rudy Valley, our regular gang, Eddie Bracken, Henry Russell in the orchestra, the Crew Chiefs Quartet, and our gal Thursday, the singing star of our show, Dorothy Lamour. And here she is. <laughs> Thanks, John. Hi, everybody. This is Dottie. Oh, hello, Dottie. How are you? What you doing? Well, I'm waiting for a call from Rudy Valley. He's going to be on my radio show this week. Say, what's the matter with you, Eddie? You look so glum tonight. Well, you know, the first of the month's coming up and the bills have to be paid. I got no money to pay them with. Gee, I wish I were rich. Oh, what for? You can't take it with you. Maybe not, but I understand CBS is working out a deal to make that possible. But really, Dottie, I'm, I'm tired of being poor. I've been poor all my life. Eddie Bracken, me thinks you're exaggerating. Me thinks you wouldn't say that, Dottie, if you saw me selling newspapers when I was five years old. Oh, yeah, I sold newspapers when I was five years old and saved every penny. Then when I was eight, I had a paper out all of my own, and I sold magazines and saved and saved until that proud day when I accumulated five whole dollars. And with the five dollars tightly clutched in my grubby little hand... I went to my mother and I said, Mother, this is for you. Oh, your mother must have been really proud of you. Yeah. I was only 29 at the time. (laughs) You know, Dottie, I could make a lot of money right now if I could get somebody to make an investment for me. Well, uh, how much would you need? About $5,000. Oh, that's a lot of money. I know it is, but I hate to miss this. The opportunity of a lifetime. Well, how often do you run into a proposition that's safe, conservative, and entails no risk whatsoever? Hmm, that sounds like a wonderful investment. What is it? Well, confidentially, I heard about a horse that's running at Golden Eddie, Gate. stop. <laughs> stop wasting your breath. I wouldn't think of it. In the first place, I don't bet on horses. Well, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not going to use any pressure. There are plenty of people who would jump at this opportunity. Now, let's see. Who will I let in? I know just the fella. I'll talk to Rudy Valley about it. No, don't be silly. Rudy's a very conservative man. Yeah, but only $5,000? And it's such a great investment? He can't be that conservative. He can't, huh? Listen, I understand that if Rudy has more than 20 cents in his pocket, he won't travel from his bedroom to the kitchen unless he goes in an armored car. <laughs> I'm going to ask him anyway. Oh, I won't hear of it. It's just a waste of time. Say, by the way, Rudy was supposed to call. I wonder why he... Well, maybe this is Rudy calling now. Hello? Hello, Miss Lamore. I have a collect call for you. A collect call? From where? From Beverly Hills. Five cents collect. (laughs) That's Rudy, all right. Put him on. Uh, Go ahead, sir. Hello, Dorothy. This is Rudy Valley. Hello, Rudy. I've been waiting for your call. When are you coming over? I want to talk to you about the guest spot I'm going to do in your show. And while I hate to inconvenience you, couldn't you come over here? I can't leave the house. Why not? Well, I've tried and tried, but I can't get a sitter. A sitter? But there's no baby in your house. I know, but there's money. (laughs) Oh, all right. I'll be right over. Good, I'll Uh, be... Dottie, ask him if I can drive you over. Oh, Rudy, do you mind if I bring Eddie Bracken along? Not at all. I'd be delighted to see him. Goodbye. Goodbye, Rudy. Oh, great. Now I'm sure I can get it. Eddie, please. Put... Not a word about betting on that horse. Isn't too 
much time So once and for always Let's say that it's a dream Wishing days are over This is all we need And tonight The stars above that once and for always, no less than always, you and I will be in love. So tonight. The stars above that once and for always, no less than always, you and I will be in love. Okay, mister, here's your ticket. Oh, but officer, I have a date with a smooth number, and what a dish. Hey, you mean you've got... Sure, I mean a dish of chocolate flake ice cream, the seal test flavor of the month for April. Talk about fine ice cream, it's the tops. Velvety vanilla ice cream as only seal test makes it, with flakes of real bittersweet chocolate all through it. Say, that's a ticket for me. Let's go. Everybody goes for chocolate flake ice cream. So head for your nearby seal test soda fountain and... Get the best, get seal test. Now, Eddie, before I ring the bell, please promise you won't ask Rudy to bet on that horse for you. But it's only $5,000. We'll make a fortune. There's no chance of Rudy betting $5,000, so forget it. I'm going to ring the bell. Yeah, but up there, and these horses that... I... Ah, Dorothy Lamour and Eddie Bracken. It's good to see you. Won't you come in? Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. Hello, Rudy. Sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Anything I can get you? A drink? Some food? Oh, no thanks, Rudy. I couldn't have a thing. Well, you know, I'm kind of hungry. I could have Dorothy, a... Dorothy, of... you're looking wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dorothy, you ought to be in television. <laughs> I've gotten several offers, but they didn't work out. Why not? I can't wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You do all right sometime. But, Rudy, look. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about a business deal Daddy, I have. Eddie, please. But... You promised that you would never say a word to me. All right, but I feel like an intruder in here. Well, if you'd like to go into the game room, you'll find a slot machine there with which you can amuse yourself. Oh, a slot machine. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, Oh, but I haven't got any nickels. I'd be glad to change a dollar for you. (laughs) Oh, uh, would you? Uh, Here you are. (laughs) Here you are. You'll find the slot machine right through that door. Uh, Okay, thank you. I'll see you. uh... Hey, wait a minute. I'm supposed to get 20 nickels. You only gave me 19. Breakage, you know. (laughs) Oh, well, Daddy, I think I see what you mean. I'll see you later. Now, Dorothy, where were we? Uh, you were telling me how nice I look. Oh, yes, and I was about to tell you how wonderful you look in that dress. Thank you. That is just a simple dress. It may have been simple before you put it on, but after you get into it, it becomes rather complicated. Well, perhaps we'd better talk about what you're going to do when you appear on our seal test show. That's up to you, Dorothy. Anything you wish. Oh, I'd love you to sing a song. Fine. There's a number I did at the Coconut Grove that you might like to hear. As a matter of fact, I have a record of it right here to prove it, if you'd like to listen to it. Mm, I'd love to. Alouette, gentle alouette, 
Alouette, sir, you're a pretty thing. How I like your lovely hair. How I like your lovely hair. Lovely hair. Alouette. Oh, Alouette, sir, gentle Alouette. Alouette, sir, you're a pretty thing. How I like your beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Gorgeous hair. Alouette. Oh, Alouette, sir, gentle Alouette. Alouette, sir, you're a pretty thing. How I like your shapely nose. Shapely nose. Beautiful eyes. Gorgeous hair. Alouette. Oh, Alouette, gentle Alouette. Alouette, you're a pretty thing. How I like your luscious mouth. Luscious mouth. Shaped nose. Beautiful eyes. Gorgeous hair. Alouette. Oh, Alouette, gentle Alouette. Alouette, you're a pretty thing. How I like your pointed chin. Double chin, banky mouth, broken nose, three green eyes, gorgeous hair. Take it off, take it off. Alouette, oh, let's all join in on two more choruses. If you please, let's go now. Alouette, Alouette. the people will love it. Dorothy, I heard your voice. Were you at the Grove that night we made the record? Oh, I don't know. I was sitting, sitting you know, I think we, <laughs> I think we ought to see how Eddie is faring at the slot machine this way. Come on, baby. Hit something. How you doing, Eddie? Nothing. Haven't hit a thing yet. Oh, don't despair, my boy. Don't keep trying. Hope this isn't fixed. I've only got one nickel left. Well, here goes. Three plums! Oh, boy, now to collect. What came out? Three plums. <laughs> hey, Rudy, well, I mean, what's the idea? I put a whole buck in here. And when I finally hit a winner, all I get are three plums. They're so soggy, I can't even eat them. Yes, but you'll find them excellent for baking. Oh, come on, Eddie. Forget about it. But it's not all right. When you win on a slot machine, you're supposed to get money. Oh, what good is money? You can't eat money. Maybe not, but I bet you've tried. <laughs> Look at the time. It's been pleasant, Rudy. Come on, Eddie, will you drive me home? Oh, sure. I'll see you at rehearsal, Dorothy. Uh, oh, Rudy, before I go, I want to tell you about a business proposition. Eddie, I come have... on. Just a moment, Dorothy. Tell me, Eddie, what is this proposition to which you keep referring? Oh, it's nothing you'd be interested in. Eddie wants to get you to bet on a horse that's running tomorrow. An equine? <laughs> no, a nag. <laughs> it's a sure thing. This horse can't lose. We could make thousands. Make thousands, eh? How much would I have to bet? Oh, I'd have to bet around five. Five? Isn't that rather steep? <laughs> well, four. Three. <laughs> two. <laughs> yes, I might be tempted to bet two. Rudy, you won't be sorry. Dottie, you and I, well, we'll all go to the track tomorrow and we'll be there when the horse comes in. <laughs> yes, that should be jolly. But you realize I don't have that amount of money lying around. Uh -huh. I shall have to get in touch with Mr. Peabody, my business manager. Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye, Dorothy. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Rudy. Goodbye, Rudy, old pal. And thanks for the plums. <laughs> See that, Dottie? And you said I shouldn't ask him. Well, it's sure a surprise to me. Yeah, and I bet if I put the pressure on him, I could have gotten him to bet that whole 5000 but I'm not kicking. Two grand is enough. Now, let's see. Two thousand dollars at twenty-one. That's forty thousand. Yes, this is Rudy Valley. 
Sorry to call you so late, Peabody, but I was thinking of investing a little in a little venture. But before I do so, I want to check on my holdings. Tell me, how are my 80,000 shares of Tell and Tell? Up two points? Good. How are my 30,000 shares of Copper? Up four points? Fine. Now tell me, how do things look for the future? Pretty sound, eh? Well, in that case, I'll risk the money. Tell you what I want you to do, Peabody. Tomorrow morning, bring over two dollars. <laughs> I want to bet it better than a horse. Nothing to be ashamed of If you stub your toe on the moon When a dream's at the top of the sky Well, you just have to jump pretty high So don't give up too soon If you stub your toe on the moon Young Harry Hadgett loved making gadgets Life needs some new things, was his claim Hoped one or two things might bring fame This is the last time you'll hear his name This is the last time you'll hear his name Nobody mentions Harry's inventions But do you think that got him down? Here comes the end when you've gadgets to mend He's the best repairman in town So there's nothing to be ashamed of if you stub your toe on the moon When you start out to climb through a cloud Will it may get a laugh from the crowd But don't give up too soon If you stub your toe on the moon Baby loves chocolate, chocolate. Mammy's little baby loves chocolate flake. And Dottie, that goes for all the children and all the grown-ups too, because Seal Test chocolate flake ice cream is a wonderful mouth-melting treat. Creamy, smooth vanilla ice cream, chock full of luscious flakes of real bittersweet chocolate. Good? I say it's too good to miss. What do you say, Dottie? I say, bring on the dishes, bring on the cake. Dottie's gonna have a batch of chocolate flake. Let's all have some. Ask your nearby Seal Test dealer for chocolate flake ice cream. The Seal Test flavor of the month. And always... Get the best, get Seal Test. Now, Dorothy, what did you say the name of the horse is in which I'm to wager? Well, the name of the horse is Fanfare. He'll win in a walk. Walk? If he wishes to win, I suggest he run. Eddie, I don't like to be a killjoy, but what makes you so sure that horse is going to win? He's just got to, Daddy. Why, he'd win if Sidney Greenstreet was his jockey. Well, if you have that much confidence in the animal, I shall go and make the wager for us. Have you got the money with you? Oh, yes. Let me see it, huh? Oh, I couldn't show it to you here in front of Dorothy. Why not? I've got it in the money belt around my stomach. Oh, look, they're bringing the horses out now. Yes, I'd better go. I'll be back presently. And remember, Eddie, half the bet is yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> Eddie, uh, do you realize what you've done? If Fanfare loses, you'll owe Rudy a $1,000. Oh, don't worry about it. The race is as good as one. <laughs> Sounds like a leaking valve. So. <laughs> did, did you hear something? Oh, it's that fellow over there. I think he's calling us. Us? Yeah. You. Well, what do you want? Tell me, uh, you and this little lady go out to the track much? Oh? I don't get here very often. Uh, I seldom do. Just as I thought. Well, uh, I got something of a confidential nature to talk to you about. I only hope I'm in time. Step a little closer. Say, what is this all about? Shh, lady, not so loud. Look, this track is infested with touts who just want to take advantage of people like you. They do, huh? Certainly. Now, you know as well as I do that nobody can tell who's going to win a race. 
Those tips are all phony. So let me warn you to watch your step. Oh, well, gee, thanks a lot. We'll be seeing you. Psst. Come back here. <laughs> what is it now? Well, I got a horse in the third race. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just warned us about touts, and now you... Of course you're... I did. But they give you tips. I don't give tips. I give information. <laughs> and, uh... Where do you get your information? <laughs> what program is this? <laughs> the lady asked me where I got my information. I'm going to tell you, lady. I got it from the most inside source possible. Look, you see that man selling hot dogs over near the $5 window? You mean you know him personally? <laughs> well, uh, not exactly. But I got a brother-in-law who works for the firm that supplies him with mustard. W O W. No spelling. <laughs> what did you just say? Eddie, Eddie, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute, Dottie. Wait a minute. Maybe this guy knows something. Certainly. You see, folks, I got a system. Now take the third race. There's five horses in the third race. You bet five on a number one horse, you bet ten on a number two horse. Five dollars on a number three horse, ten dollars on a number four horse, and five on a number five horse. Now, wait a minute. I don't get it. That way you bet on every horse in the race. That's just it. One of the horses has got to win, and you've got to bet riding on him. That's my system. <laughs> yeah, but wait a minute. If you, if, if you bet on every horse in, in the race, you can't win on any money. Well, what do you expect? No system is perfect. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. We'll, uh, we'll be seeing you around. Okay, but remember, stay away from those touts. <laughs> well, has the race started yet? Not yet, Rudy, but they're in the starting gate hey, now. Hey, did you make the bet, Rudy? Did you, huh? I certainly did. I have the ticket right here in my wallet. Oh, boy. They're in the starting gate. Oh, oh boy. There they are. They're all lined up. They're lining they're up. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. They're off and running. The men are going to the front, and Fanfare is second. Come on, Fanfare. Blanche is third. Come on, Fanfare. Hot takes fourth, and then comes Little Steve. The rest are trailing. Come on, Fanfare. Come on, Fanfare. Yell for him, Rudy. Yell for him. Ridiculous. With all this noise, he couldn't possibly hear me. Around <laughs> the car turn, it's Bonanza still leading. Come on, Fanfare. Fanfare is moving up. It's Fanfare and Bonanza head and head. Fanfare. Fanfare in front. He's in front. And Miss Blanche. Get out of there, Miss Blanche. The rest are trailing. Now they're in the stretch and it's Miss Blanche moving up. Trip passing up. Fanfare. Bonanza's moving up. Get out of there, Bonanza. Fanfare. Not so fast. Little C passes Fanfare. Oh, no, no, no. Looks Fanfare. like a driving finish. Fanfare. Bonanza and Miss Blanche. Fanfare. Miss Blanche and Bonanza. Fanfare. They're coming down the line of finish now, and uh, Miss Blanche wins it by a head. Huh. I thought Fanfare could win if Sidney Greenstreet rode him. Oh, could I help it if they couldn't get Sidney Greenstreet to ride him? <laughs> it seems we lost. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win every time. <laughs> Remember, half of the money I wagered was for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'll pay you all right, but of course, a thousand dollars is a lot of money. And, and a thousand dollars? But you only owe me a dollar. A dollar. Rudy, you mean you only bet two dollars? Why, of course. Certainly, you didn't think I'd risk three or four. <laughs> Of all the cheap... Dottie, you and your friends Quiet, are Quiet, not... Eddie. You should be thankful. After all, your horse came in last. Yeah, but supposing he'd have won. Think of all the money I'd have lost.
Thanks, Rudy Valley. It was fun working with you again. Good luck on your new 20th Century Fox picture, Father Was a Fullback. Thank you, too, Elvia Allman, Sheldon Le- Leonard, and Alan Reed. Next week, another big name is going to be lighted up on our Seal Test Theater marquee, so if you'll stand by for just a minute, we'll tell you whose it's going to be. Dairy products are more important in our diet than ever before. Today, the average American uses about 16% more milk, cream, and cheese than he did 10 years ago. In meeting this demand, America's dairy farmers have done an outstanding job of increasing efficiency and thereafter still greater production as demand continues to rise. We at National Dairy are committed to a program of helping the farmer to meet this production challenge. Every day, field men from National Dairy Companies are in the milk barns, at the silos, in the pastures, working with farmers on such things as pasture improvement, crop rotation, planning new buildings. Our field men include veterinarians, dairymen, and other agricultural specialists. They work not only to serve individual dairy producers, but in some cases, help entire communities to build up local dairy enterprises. In all of this, our purpose is to help maintain a steady supply of nutritious, health-giving milk and to make high-quality national dairy products available to the greatest number of people at the lowest possible cost. And now, here again is your mistress of ceremonies, Dottie Lamour. Well, next Thursday, Eddie Bracken, the whole gang, and I will be back again. The name on our seal test theater marquee will be Sidney Greenstreet. And inside, on our stage, he'll be helping us put on a swell show. To our guest star tonight, Rudy Valley, our sincere thanks. Rudy, your appearance contributes to a fine cause. The establishment of the American Federation of Radio Artists Welfare Insurance Fund. And now, on behalf of Eddie Bracken, Henry Russell, the crew chiefs, and all of us, this is Dorothy L'Amour inviting you to be with us again next Thursday at the same time. In the meantime, we'll be thinking of you. This is National Restaurant Week, a time when we like to remind you that America's heritage, hospitality, and good food are yours to enjoy. When you, your family, and friends are dining out, you will find that many fine restaurants and hotels take pride in serving seal test ice cream, milk, and other dairy foods. They're America's favorites, yours to enjoy, good food at its best. Tonight's Seal Test Variety Theater was written by Howard Harris and Sidney Zelinka. Direction is by Glenn Hall Taylor. Tune in again next Wednesday, or rather Thursday evening, when Seal Test again presents Seal Test Variety Theater, starring Dorothy L'Amour and Eddie Bracken, and as our guest, Sidney Greenstreet. Seal Test Incorporated and associate companies are divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation. This is John Lang speaking. <laughs> Lucille Ball, Joseph Cotton, and Charles Coburn star in the hilarious comedy Bachelor Mother. Stay tuned for Screen Guild Players, next on NBC.